Hey everyone, FireMac here, and today I got a little something different for you guys. We're going to be just talking about the potential story progression for Final Fantasy XV. And today, I'm, a, I'm also going to be joined by Mr. Saeed Ali. Hey guys, my name is Ali uh, Hassan. Most people call me Ali, or Saeed even, you know, of course. But on my channel, I do Final Fantasy XV content, almost predominantly. But I also like to fit in Kingdom Hearts and general final fantasy content i mean i recently got into making a lot of music but nevertheless let's take it away fire mac all right so we're just going to be discussing what could potentially happen with the story i mean we know so little but yet we have so much to go off of how is the story going to begin like we know that the game's kind of focusing on noctis and his friends going on in a car going somewhere i don't know where he's going but we know something happened so i feel like maybe in the beginning of the story something's gonna happen to his kingdom or who knows what and then Noctis has to fix things and but he can't go back to his kingdom that's what I'm assuming like he can't go back I mean that's why they're out on their own that that's what I'm thinking what you have to say on that I think that's exactly what happens within the story. Basically, you know, Noctis is the prince of the whole nation, which is Lucis. And, you know, he also has a lot of things to be brought upon. But something does happen since this is indeed the war of the crystals and war of nations politically and everything like that. You know, you have nations trying to take over other nations, Nephilim being probably the biggest nation trying to take over things in the imperialistic way and you just have this war of the crystals Luce is obviously one of the nations with the last crystal at hand. And you know, the flying wants to just take it away. Something happens. Noctis is on the lamb. It just goes from there. It just really seems like a nice setup for me, at least. Do you want to explain what we see in this guy, story-wise, Fire Mac? I don't know. What do we really see? Because all we got was they have to stop because their car needs repairs. All we got from that is that they encountered a behemoth. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I feel, I think there was like a little synopsis in the beginning talking about their thing. They're, they're on their way to the summon Titan, you know, the arcane thing. On their way, they do get another summon, Ramu or Rama. I think that was just like a set piece there just for laugh, you know. I don't think that's actually part of the story, but like, you know, they're on their way to the Titan summon and everything like that. So that's obviously probably a big factor. Like, why do they have to go to these summons and stuff? Why do they have to go for the Astral Shard? And we see in like the, the sky region around there. So all of this kind of makes me think um what is going on the people uh working on 15 haven't explained it yet and that's just their job they're not supposed to spoil the good stuff about 15. so a lot of the story stuff is still in mystery but that's a good thing i was just thinking you said they were going for a shard yes yeah um an astro star shard if you watch the 2014 tgs trailer i believe you see like this huge crystal like structure that's glowing like blue-ish okay. and stuff like did you see that where they were drawing the car and they were talking about what's that blue thing on fire yeah it's, a, it's been a while since i've seen the trailer but i do kind of vaguely remember that but the reason i, I bring it up is because that kind of makes me think that they're uh, gonna implement some traditional story elements from past fallen fantasies like even before final fantasy 6 a major trope with final fantasy stories was that there's these four crystals that control all the elements and stuff so like an earth crystal, fire crystal, all that. I feel like they might be coming back to that in the story sense in a little bit. Like maybe each kingdom controls these crystals. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe Noctis's kingdom's crystal is compromised. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's just like a lot to take in, honestly. That's kind of cool if they actually throw back to those old Final Fantasy tropes. With Final Fantasy 15, they've just said on many occasions how they're bringing a lot of factors from old Final Fantasy games, but also bringing a lot of innovation within its story. Final Fantasy is known for being related to crystals. They've actually strayed away from their roots a little bit, but I think with um, Fable Nova Crystal, so 13, 14, and you know, 15 still has, even though it's not connected to Fable Nova Crystals no more, they still kept the crystal kind of theme within it full force i believe yeah, what do you think I, about that i actually forgot about that like thank you for reminding me like yeah that definitely sends a lot of credence to the the crystal theme like there's definitely got to be something going on here then idealistically how do you want the story to play out i know they've discussed you know it's it's non-linear it's non-linear it's open world they said it's actually gonna be like open world yes but it's gonna be limited open world and the fact that you can't go everywhere in the world unless you progress throughout the story there's, it's a two-way street when you're dealing with the story if you're if mm -hmm. it's too open world it takes away from the narrative a little bit meanwhile if it's too linear 
you feel too confined within this story. They're saying it's a limited open world, which I think is great because a lot of games nowadays, they just, they're focused too much on just making everything way too open world, where you just basically can ignore the main story, just do whatever the heck you want. Well, that's fine in some respects, but Final Fantasy is much more about the narrative, I believe. So I'm glad that they're kind of limiting it, but still letting you have something to play around with. Because so I'm, I'm very much for that because I love the narrative. I love being able to have fun, but still not forget that, you know, there's a story going on here. So I'm definitely, definitely all about that. Final Fantasy 15, the story definitely feels like it's going much grander than it usually has. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that Nomura is involved and he's been very good about making these grand stories i mean it's it's been evident in kingdom hearts you can't make something too simple so it's got to be extravagant as possible and it, it shows it definitely shows like from the trailers we got you can tell this story is going to be insane and i can't wait you got any last words you want to say about the story like do you think there's anything else we haven't touched upon quite yet with the story i feel like we've touched upon a great amount of like detail within the story and the narrative for 15 of course we can't talk about it that much since they haven't revealed that much information on it once i just want to just restate that you know i feel with the with the story and narrative we're just gonna see a, a very nice progression maybe similar to even the last of us because they've discussed how the last of us and even the witcher 3 have been taken in consideration when developing 15 so that's awesome because witcher 3 is an incredibly open world game on the other hand the, the last of us has been a narrative success and a huge 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 name in gaming over recent years on top of that you know i just feel like the narrative aspect of 15 is going to be very well rounded because it's going to mix open world with just full-on story i mean there's a nice fine line between linearity and good story i feel like by them putting limited open world by saying okay we're gonna make you have a huge open space to explore but you have to play through our story and understand it to get to certain areas and explore even further and you gotta play a good amount of story to ride that choke point you know what i mean or ride that airship um mm -hmm. and i feel like that's just incentive to really experience the story in a very nice way i mean obviously they're trying to create an original experience for everyone but there's a fine line i feel like they're going with a nice approach on this factor and that's all i really need to say what about you fire mac now, i think we did a pretty good job talking about the story as much as we can i mean we only have so much to go off of but that doesn't end our discussion because we also have a discussion on the potential of level up progress and how you're going to progress in the game gameplay wise so make sure to check that out on saeed's channel indeed yeah it's been like an honor you know being on your channel bro i've been actually looking at your channel a lot i've been really intrigued and captivated by you know not only from 15 which is odd because i love 15 that much but i really <laughs> like the other stuff it's been an honor being on your channel and yeah that's all i have to say Make sure to check out Saeed's channel for more information on Final Fantasy 15. If you go on my channel, of course, you're going to be seeing the gameplay progression and how that will work in 15, accompanied by my awesome friend Fire Mac, of course. But on top of that, you're going to see a great, great wealth of 15 content talking about how, I guess, the Astral Shard works. What is the Astral Shard? What is Astral Power? Luna still I do so much content with 15 it's not even funny I'm not that well-rounded I guess at least compared to Fire Mac you know he does anime and video games I I think I just strictly stay on um, Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy 15 and I often kind of go towards Kingdom Hearts time to time but I'm mostly 15 for now so if you're into that please check me out and please press the subscribe button um, but that's all I really have to say yeah, please check out his channel. It's, uh, I've been there. It's very interesting. He's always has new topics and things you wouldn't even think about. What was it, the Luna or Stella? It was like was one of your more recent videos. There, there's all sorts of interesting topics. I highly recommend to check out his channel, especially if you want to stay up to date on Final Fantasy news or Square Enix in general. We'll see you guys next time. And of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So this is Farmek and Ali saying bye-bye. See you next time. Peace out.